went to Orlando down in Florida. The friendliest people you ever saw. Spent lots of time at the only place to be. The theme parks and resorts of a world they call Disney. Disney, Disney World. It's time for Inside Out. Hi, and uh, welcome to Walt Disney World in our extra special July episode. Let me ask you a question. Do you think this gag's gone on too long? Yeah, I think, I think it has been. Thanks, guys. The oats are in the mail. Hi, I'm Scott Harriet, host, sun worshiper, frontiersman extraordinaire, and that's why I'm here now at the Wilderness Lodge Resort. It's a great place to start your fun-filled Walt Disney World adventure, one in which you might see those rascally pirates of the Caribbean. You're gonna love what we ask some of our guests to do. Yo-ho, yo-ho, it's a pirate's life for me. She wowed the world with her skating ability. Take a look at what she's doing for us at the Magic Kingdom. It's Nancy Kerrigan. It's new, it's futuristic, it's all the inventions of tomorrow here today. It's innovations at Epcot 94. And today, Bill Nye the Science Guy shows us exactly what it's all about. The Lion King is Disney's new animated feature. Later, we're going behind the scenes with some very animated people. And lots more from the Disney MGM Studios, and a great big ball to a pretty jazzy musical guest at Disney's nighttime hotspot, Pleasure Island, and me, your host, on my own special mission. Well, it's time to grab your favorite buckskins and head out on that dusty but never dingy trail of Walt Disney World's Inside Out. Please be quiet, there's a raccoon sleeping on my head. Lodge Resort. It's a rustic recreation of a hundred-year-old American National Park Lodge. Tons of granite flagstone, hundreds of lodgepole pines, and frontier artifacts all help to recapture the romantic wilderness feeling of a genuine Rocky Mountain Lodge. It's woodsy, it's outdoorsy, it has indoor plumbing, but there does seem to be one thing missing. Bears. And you know, like all great frontiersmen, like uh, Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie, David Bowie. I'm going off in search of a razor clawed, foaming at the mouth, hopefully vegetarian bear. Now, if I can just find my way out of here. The wilderness lodge is really a is. great yeah. new place. Scott's looking for a bar, so he's got to make right haste. Right Heading down south where the air is clean to talk uh, to some right folks right. in the Pirates' Caribbean. Yo-ho, 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 the Pirates of the Caribbean. Fire to the Caribbean, it's swashbuckling fun and more black flags and a bug spray convention. But you know, concerning those pirates, what is it they want? And more importantly, what are they singing? Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. We pillage, we plunder, we rifle and loot, drink up, be hearties, yo ho. No, it's not the Walt Disney World Choir, ladies and gentlemen. It's our fine pirate participants. They're going to go inside the Pirates of the Caribbean, right? And you're going to have the best time you've ever had in your life, right? Yeah. Who's your favorite host? Yeah. Thank you so much. Can we get prizes for everyone? Now, you know, if you get all of the words to the song, the Pirates of the Caribbean song, whoever gets the most words wins the prize, right? And remember, no slashing or pummeling. Oh, look at them go. Yo, oh, yo, yo, oh, oh, a pirate's life for me. We pillage, we plunder, we rifle and loot. Drink up, me hearties, yo, ho. We kidnap and ravage and don't give a hoot. Drink up, me hearties, yo, ho. As our pirate participants think about what they've just heard, they're realizing there's more to this yo-ho thing than meets the year. Well, you guys made it out alive. Uh, do you think you know what the words are? Yeah. yeah. OK, give it a shot. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me. Next door, and we pull it in sack. We run around and bezel and even 
behind Jack. And now, Julie and Lou. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. We pillage and loot. We rifle and loot. We pillage and plunder, we rifle and loot. Drink up, me hearty mates. And you, it's all about it's right and, and, and right. Love me. We love all mommies and daddies. Yeah. Dave, uh, Dave, yes, yes. You know, you know, star search auditions are tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah. Should I, should I go somewhere? That's all we know. There's more to this song, though, I tell you. I know there is. Yo, ho, yo, ho, a pirate's life for me. Hey, this good. We have our winner. Yes, I am. Oh, using all modern cultural features. Thank you so much. Can I call you Cubby? Oh, yes. Okay, good. Now, Dave, you Start are... calling me late for dinner. <laughs> please, please! Do we have the big, uh, we have the big prize for you. Where is it? Oh, my here it is. The grand prize. It's an actual stuffed Caribbean parrot. Right oh, for you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you will stable right. that to your shoulder a little later. It'll be <laughs> loads of fun. And, you know, everyone's a winner at Walt Disney World, so everybody got a T-shirt as well. Yeah! All right, so, you know, you also guys get two, three hours of marauding and filching throughout the park. You want to go on the ride again? Yeah! yeah. Yo, yes! Yo, 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 pirate's life for me. You know, Walt Disney World is known around the globe, if not the universe, for its amazing animatronic attractions. Some are even interactive. You know, there's also things that are alive that you can ride here. How about some horseback riding fun at Fort Wilderness? You'll meet friendly horses, happy people, goats that can't read. You can even stop by the livery stable for a quick chat with blacksmith Gary Wade and see his really big shoe. And what kind of horse is this, Gary? Uh, he's a Percheron. He's mm -hmm. one of our parade horses. And what, what distinguishes a Percheron, let's say, from a, a Clydesdale? Uh, it's a breed of... The Percheron breed originated in France, where the Clydesdale originated in Scotland. Okay, and what differenti differentiates a Percheron from a Buick? Uh, <laughs> not much in the price-wise, but uh, he's one horsepower, or a Buick <laughs> it might be a little bit more. Now, um, before you uh, get to this phase, you ever soak the hoof in a, like a big bowl of palm olive? And he doesn't feel this, right? Ooh, sorry about that. Yeah, he might think you're a fly. Okay. I've been told that before. Hey, why the long face? <laughs> so he rode up on a horse to our harmonious tones, looking for a man named Indiana Jones. When and where he went, he really didn't care as long as he kept his perfect looking hair. Danger, stunts, and fat balls. Here's a stunt spectacular. If you like action, movies, and experiencing firsthand what it takes to make them, then the Disney MGM Studios has an attraction for you. And action! Action! We're talking about movie punching, falling, big scene changes, and wild special effects. You don't want to miss the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. Do you get my point? <laughs> The Stunt Spectacular takes Indy through three stunt-filled scenes, starting with the mysteriously booby-trapped Mayan Temple. It's an exciting show that takes skill, exact timing, and weeks of careful preparation to perform the over 50 dangerous stunts. And it doesn't hurt to have a good pair of running shoes. Gordon, is he okay? All right. All right. All right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, right. the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. Mike West here, ladies and gentlemen, working with the Indiana Jones Show. And uh, Mike, can you tell me everything you know about the pyrotechnic capabilities of the show? Well, Scott, uh, basically, it's very dangerous. How long does it take to get these stunts all coordinated and working everything out? Well, there's a lot involved. Of course, there's safety of the, uh, of the actors involved in the show. Uh, there's the entertainment value. Did you have to shave the head for the gig, or what did that, was that the way you came? Uh, yeah, that's what they told me when I came in. Had to shave that head. There's three casts uh, in this show that one's constantly learning and the other ones are performing. So, uh, Indy, I know this is a stupid question, but uh, where are you from? 
Indiana. Hey, how about that, huh? Being that you're so concerned about the workers here, do you yourself go through the whole stunt training procedure? Are you kidding? How do people who come to watch the show get involved with it? Well, there's a pre-show that we do, and uh, the, the assistant director or the casting director comes out, and through a series of little vignettes and interactive things, we pick ten people. And those ten people are in for a whole lot of theatrical-filled fun. She's dead, what do you do? Ah! Try not to smile, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go talk to the pastel peasants, as I like to call them. Hi, how are you? It's good to see that, uh, you know, some of the ancient Middle East footwear still survives, and we can get some of the shot here. So what was the most fun for you? Being picked out of the audience, <laughs> that was the greatest part. This, the explosion's the thing that made it for me. Oh, I had a great time, great cast, great extras, great people, I love it. <laughs> And just when you thought it was safe to jump back into your giant flying wing, it's the action-packed finale. We're talking lots of movie machine gun fire, a great stunt fight, and a fiery explosion where you can actually feel the heat. It's all part of Disney MGM's movie magic, where being at the movies is being in the movies. Whatever that means. You know, speaking of movies, and we were, weren't we? There is something that I've always wanted to try. Wasn't so bad, was it? No. Indiana Jones is sure okay. But Scott should look for a bear. The technological way tomorrow's useful gadgets are right here on call. Cause in a inch is better than a crystal ball. The future, it's a great new future down at Epcot 94. You know, in 1966, when Walt Disney came up with the idea of Epcot, he felt that it should keep up with the latest ideas and technologies. Uh, that's why Epcot 94 is proud to present Innoventions. What exactly is an Innovention? I have no idea, but Bill Nye does, because he's a science guy. Hey, hey, Bill Nye, the science guy here, standing in front of the Innoventions testing lab, where we test all the cool new things you see at Innoventions. Now you might be wondering, what's an intervention? Good question. An intervention is an idea or invention that revolutionizes the way we do things in some part of our everyday lives. Now take this for example, TV. Imagine a world without television. Pretty scary, huh? But in 1939, almost no one had even heard of TV, except those people who went to the 1939 World's Fair in New York City. They got a chance to actually see, hear, and touch this phenomenal new technology that was about to revolutionize their lives. That's see, that's what, what, what Interventions, Interventions is, is all about. about. Now let's fast forward to 1994. <laughs> what are the Interventions of today? Well, they're the things you see on television and read about in magazines. You know the buzzwords? Virtual reality, smart houses, and the information superhighway. They're all products that you'll be using in a couple of years, and then pretty soon you'll go, wonder how I ever live without them. See them before anyone else. Touch and use them for yourself at Interventions at Epcot 94. Discover your future. So, inventions plus innovations equals innovation. I think the future looks mighty nice for this guy before. It looks innovative. Disney animation, you know, it conjures up images of Cinderella, Pinocchio, Snow White, that little uh, mouse fella, Mickey. Mickey, he's good. You know, The Lion King is the newest animated hero, and who would have guessed that right here at Disney MGM Studios, they did a large part of that animation. So, why don't you follow me? We'll head on inside. Come on. Hi. You know, animation can be fun and profitable if you know the secrets. And what better place to learn than at the Disney Animation Studios where guests can come by and watch the animators of today, like myself, 
create the animated classics of tomorrow. And if you put your heart and mind into it, it's really not that difficult. Well, you know, Scott, actually around here, we don't, we don't paint by number. No. Okay. Well, what exactly do you show here at the studio? If you want to take a look at The Lion King, it's Disney's 30-second animated feature. 30 seconds? That's, that's only a half minute. <laughs> I thought it was a full-length one. Can you uh, briefly tell us about animation from concept to film in less than 15 seconds? <laughs> that's a big question. Well, from the concept, we go to the script. From the script, we go into storyboards. Uh, storyboards are sort of like a visual comic book of, of the movie. Right. And then from there, um, we have layouts, which are the backgrounds or the stages for the characters to be added, uh, acting in. And at the same time, we have the animation going on to those layouts. Far too dangerous. Only the bravest lions go there. Meanwhile, we bring in live animals, uh, which we did for The Lion King, to sketch and draw and wow. learn all the mechanics of walks and runs. And so the whole process takes about three to four years. And then it's time for those cuddly characters to talk. And of course, you've got to get those famous voices to do the voices. You are more than what you have become. And they tell me by the time production is complete, there'll be more than one million drawings created by over 800 artists who've apparently been hanging around the drawing room a bit too long. And what did you do in The Lion King? Well, I animated Nala. Nala is Simba's little girlfriend in the, in the movie, and uh, they're basically like a couple little kids that are always getting into trouble all the time. So when Nala's there, you're there. And that's me. Oh, wow, it's, uh, it's me and a bear. It's, uh, it's a big bear. Yeah, could you make that uh, the bear just a little, little smaller? Be nice. Well, Scott, you don't have anything to worry about. Um, the big bears are only attracted to uh, dark pink shirts. Scott is now a drawing, and that is grand. But now he's got to find Nancy Care again. Looking for a bear is kind of nice. But like old Nancy K, the search is being put on ice. Skating the Magic Kingdom. Here's our cool celebrity guest. A trip to the Walt Disney theme parks and resorts might also mean seeing one of your favorite celebrities up close. Recently, Olympic medal winner Nancy Kerrigan was at the Magic Kingdom to share with guests some of her skating moves. possible to give me some pointers out here? Sure. Have you ever skated? Uh, no. Okay, let me show you how it's done, Scott. All righty. Well, wait a minute. Maybe, uh, maybe leaping. That's what I really want to get into. Have you ever okay. timed yourself? See how long you can stay in the air? No. Well, let me do that. Okay. Well, you know, ice is nice, but there's nothing like a roaring fire in the middle of July. 
and get the chill out of your bones. But I digress. You're almost out of time, Scott. You better go down to Pleasure Island where the fireworks glow. Every single night is New Year's Eve of a kind. The Jazz Club is the place that you should always bear in mind. Music, jazzy music, it's the stuff we always bear in mind. How many people remember them opening for Zeppelin in 74? You know, as it should be obvious by now, I, I can't play great jazz, but I know where you can find some. The Pleasure Island Jazz Company is the newest of eight great clubs on Pleasure Island. It features nightly jazz entertainment, hosts some of the hottest premier jazz musicians in the country. Did I mention jazz? And you don't have to dress like the Blues Brothers to get in. It's a great place to relax and listen to the great, that's right, jazz of yesterday and today. Jazz Club, there's plenty of other cool things to do before the clock strikes midnight. Maverick, you're too low! Come on, you wuss! Hit it! <laughs> All right. Hi, I'm Dick Clark, and, uh, you know, every night is New Year's Eve here which would make me uh, 648 years old. <laughs> Thank you, very good. Right on cue, I might add. We've got hats, we've got confetti, we've got fireworks. Nine, eight, seven, six, we've got loud five, counting. And if you have any energy left after Pleasure Island, well, you can always check out what's coming up in the months ahead at Walt Disney World. Starting soon at the Magic Kingdom, Disney's newest animated feature, The Lion King, comes to life with the legend of the Lion King stage show. Later this month at the Disney MGM Studios, experience the 13-story faster-than-gravity fall of the terrifying Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Is that the stop button? New this summer, the Mickey Mania Parade, a fun-filled march down Main Street featuring hundreds of Mickey-ized creations. Well, that's it for our show and my fruitless search for Robert. You know, you think a place like Walt Disney World where anything can happen and dreams do come true, that a frontiersman extraordinaire like myself would have been able to find something big, grisly, something I could use my pioneer expertise to hunt down, something that Just, just want an autograph. like a free copy of the Walt Disney World vacation planning video, call 1-800-354-2500.